Okay, so the luck we have here is a Yale. It's a Kite Mark number one. I'll just zoom in there and show you. So, right. And there's the key bidding. Nice key bidding there. Six pinner. And uh, see, it does turn all that. I just have it locked up in the vise. I'll show you it working at the end. I'll have to show you now, actually. Why not? So, just to show, to show you there. I can get my orientation right with this camera. Zoom out and show you. See, it's the thumb turn. So, it can be bypassed. Now, put this back in here. Tighten, tighten it up. Right. So now that that's tightened up, I'm going to zoom in again. And we're going to use the 50 thousandths pry bar on the key side, pin side, key pin side. And then I'm going to pick it in the anti clockwise direction with the very deep hook, and this one's in 15 thousandths. Now I'm going to keep very light tension. One is loose, two is loose, three is loose, four is loose, five is loose, six gave a click and it gave a bit of rotation. Okay, one again, let's see. One clicked, two sort of click, three is loose, four is loose, five, let's try and touch six there, okay, mm, I think that's four, don't know, go back to one again. Okay, one click, two, I don't know, three gave a click, four gave a click, five, okay, back to one loose, two is springy, three is binding, give a click, four clicked, five little click, six <coughs> springy, one click, two springy, three click, four Springy, five springy, six springy, one click, two springy, three binding, click, four springy, five springy, six, and get on. Six feels springy. So one, sort of a click there. Two, springy. Three, tiny click. Four, springy. Five, just drag that out there for a sec. 
just in case there's an overset pin. Now let's try one again. One. Okay, he's set now. I've got a little bit of movement. Okay, two. Leave two for a second. Three. Four, five. Increase tension a little bit just to see if I can get better feedback here. Okay, one, two, no, three, four, five. Just pull the pick out of it so that hopefully we get the Tends to drop back into position if they are overset. And one, binding. Two, three, one, two, three, four. I think he's set now. Five, six, one, one, click, two, seems alright. Three is springy, four is springy, five is, five is springy, six is springy. Okay, I think there's something over set. So I drag the pick out. And one is stiff, two is stiff, three is stiff, four, okay, one, two, three. Number five was ever set. So it's hard to tell. I'm just trying to get through this warding. Okay, one again and put movement. Two seems alright. Three little click. Four clicked. Five. Hmm. Okay, I think that was two and more movement. Four, click, five, click, six. Okay, so I've got to click on what feels like three or four. One again. Okay, moving out. Four, three. I sure that was two and got more movement again. Just holding the tension wrench with the two fingers. Lightly. Just going over all the pins to make sure that there maybe one of them is not all the way in and set. 
They are starting to feel more solid, the whole lot of them, as if they were set. And yeah, this uh, Euro cylinder gave me some trouble. But when I got the 15,000 SS dev picks, I could overcome the extreme bitting. And just have to make sure that we don't set pins too deep or whatever. So it's kind of hard sometimes. Again, right now all I'm doing is trying to check everything, make sure it's all good. There's very little, um, very light clicks maybe when it sets a pin. So the feedback is not always there. Okay, four was not meant to go down, I don't think. Your four feels set now. Don't know if I ever set three there. Hmm. Let's see, it is a tricky pick. Um, I think the, the first time I picked it, I don't know how long it took me. Second time I tried it, I got it after like two hours of uh, persistence. I think the third time, maybe half an hour. And then there's now. Helps a little bit when you're picking off of the warding on the one side there. And what I mean is like I'm leaning the pick against some of the warding to try and guide it. I'm not actually levering off of the warding. Just gonna pick it.
Mm. So yeah, I think I think uh, we'll have this one picked soon enough, and I uh, hope everyone had a good Christmas. Hopefully we have a new, a good new year, and the year, year ahead has thing big plans for us. We can only hope. Hopefully, it's a good one. Um, if the avid picker is uh, watching, this would be cool. Just to know if you managed to receive the pack, the locks, the package I sent. Just uh, let me know when you do. Send us an email or leave a comment if you want. So I know it hasn't been lost in the post or something daft like that. I was just thinking, I wonder if uh, the length of the key pins or whatever have something to do with the binding or a bit. I don't think so. I think it's just to do with the holes, the way they're drilled in the pin tumbler locks. Just a thought that was going through my mind. But if that were true and you could see the key, Key bidding, then you'd know which one to pick depending on its length or depth or whatever. Hmm. I think we had something of a set there. Yeah. Oh, so close now. Come on. Feels like we're close to getting this.
see. Yes. Finally. I knew it opened on six at some stage. Great. So before we finish off, I'll show you one more thing with this. And again, another reason why you don't use normally, unless it's a commercial setting or something, I don't know. Up to you at the end of the day, but why well, I wouldn't use a uh, thumb turn. And uh, let's just zoom out. See, we've got this great bitting on the key, excellent bitting, with one big weakness for this lock. That is that tailpiece or the thumb turn here at the end. So, see that that thumb turn is working. Let's just lock this up again. Okay. So, just to show you why it's a bad idea to use this type of thing, you know, oh, yeah. get this thumb turn position where, into position I should say, there you go, so you can just bypass this thing, so don't use these locks. Well, I don't use these locks on my door because of that weakness. But uh, the pick resistance is alright. Uh, and just to finish off this video, um, these jigglers set of jigglers will be in the giveaway so just to let you know uh, but besides this guy you'll be getting the jigglers some jiggler keys and uh, I don't know I'm, I'm waiting to think of what more stuff to pull with it but yeah possibly some picks from sparrows I was thinking of uh, getting the Medusa, the Sandman, the Octo Rake. Uh, not sure which other ones they are, but the ones with the fancy handles with the artwork. I think I'll I'll make that part of the giveaway, and then possibly put a challenge lock or something else, some other lock with the with it, and then pick the winner. Yeah. All right. Cheers.